I acknowledge that persistence can't be something to easily rectify in a game of this scale and magnitude. I mean, the detail is outrageous, and I know it's got to be hard to set up what is a safe and fair render distance to have enemies despawn, corpses, wagons, etc. But as I've complained about from the beginning, the sense I really get is that there's just a lack of playtesting from so many of the features online. Like, it just feels like people haven't put themselves in that situation or haven't had a chance to face it down themselves. Like, I constantly struggle to try and understand the logic behind Rockstar's decisions and implementations. I'll spare you my cynical philosophy about Red Dead Online or the slow pace at which it's developing, but to get to my point, how is this an intelligent way to get loot from enemies if they despawn at rates that are almost inexplicable? Like. This, this, the video content you're watching right now is, is actually from a place where something happened to me that's kind of my fault, super annoying, but still kind of funny, and you're going to see it coming up, but it's not even necessarily what I'm talking about, so give it a minute and I'll catch you up. So nothing like those smooth moves to demonstrate to you how much of a badass I am. But somehow, every single member of this gang has not only died and the leader still luckily staying there to be spawn killed or whatever, but every corpse is gone because I fell off the cliff after killing everybody. But the leader stayed! Why? Like, the render distance stays on him because he's alive, but not because he's dead. Like, I don't... I don't understand. And it wouldn't be so bad if it was just like, it was like a one-shot, this was a rare occasion, but watch this. Like, actually watch this one. What the fuck just happened? And this is just, this is just one example, like, there's countless, and there's countless hideouts where, like, why, why is the, the, the size of the hideout larger than the spawn distance of the enemies, like, and, and so I made a post on Reddit asking about this, and it was like, do, does killing the leader influence map drop rate, is there a benefit, is there a con, as far as the straightest answer I can get is that you can pick up a map off of enemies even when the leader is still alive and still fighting back, so you don't even need to get caught up in the meta, but it's again, just like everything else, there's no fucking information out there, and no one seems to give a shit, and furthermore, like, once again, Rockstar proving that, like, when there's a bug, that hinders players performance causes us issues or prevents us from doing well or doing better it is low priority non-engaging non-pressing but if there's a bug if there's an issue that in any way shape or form fucking benefits us or can be used in our favor or our advantage it suddenly becomes a huge priority and i just don't want to hear the idea that this isn't a mechanism to fucking promote gold bar purchase also one last closing point about the hideouts that also really bugs me Outside of the fact that, like, the leaders are, are pretty garbage and junk and half of them will tell you they'll fucking kill you for letting them go anyways, which is stupid. Like, the lockbox and loot- like, it's three dollars! If Can you fucking believe that shit, they literally took every single corpse from me. I, like, literally, if one- oh my fucking god, they're all gone- I didn't even spawn that far away! Anyways, Fuck, thanks for the XP, cause that's you... what I really fucking wanted. What Can I joke. fucking talk, please? Right, Jesus. So maybe, maybe it was all worthwhile. Maybe it wasn't. At least I got this hat out of it, and I got three bucks out of the safe. But it's pretty bullshit. It's pretty bullshit, Rockstar. I'm unimpressed that you fucking despawn all the corpses. Like, it'd be different if the enemies were still active, but to despawn the corpses, that's just so fucking heartless. That's so fucking heartless. And like, how is he, why is he still there? And why doesn't he at least keep the render of the corpses around him if he's an entity that's active in the environment? Like, that doesn't seem like it would be difficult to fucking program. Oh, my f Okay, well, so... I mean, he just said everything I was going to say, but all, all I'm saying is, like, it just seems like there could be some improvements. Thanks for tuning in. Uh...